Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another wildlife photography adventure. And today, um, I've actually had a spot in mind for a long time that I've wanted to shoot some wildlife at, um, in which it's kind of like a rapid section. So you could probably hear it in the background right now as we're approaching it. But if I was able to get a shot of a bird there, it just looked beautiful. We've had a lot of spotted sandpipers uh, show up here in the past. Um, occasionally had some mergansers um, going through these rapids. And we're gonna try and see if we can capture something like that today of um, some wildlife and uh, see what we can get. As you can see, we have a great blue heron um, hunting uh, out in the distance as well as a double-crested cormorant that keeps diving underneath the surface and coming back up. But they're both pretty dang far out right now, um, so they're not coming any anywhere close to this rapid section. The cormorant has been kind of investing in a wide area for his fishing, so there's a possibility that maybe he'll float on this way over here if we're patient with him, but uh, we'll just have to see how the day goes. Hey you guys, so you wouldn't believe what just happened. I've been waiting here for a while. Um, we had a spotted sandpiper that came around and started uh, kind of uh, working the rapids nearby me, but never came too close to where I was getting like really good shots that I was happy with. Then eventually kind of just flushed off, um, wasn't really interested in the spot anymore. And uh, I've been waiting here for probably about an hour now and just nothing was happening, it was just dead. And then all of a sudden just thing after thing started happening. And that's what's just so cool about wildlife photography is that in one moment nothing can be going on and then the next just thing after thing and I was having trouble just keeping up with my camera and just all the things that were going on but most amazingly I was able to finally get a belted kingfisher shot that I kind of like which if you guys watched last wildlife photography adventure which I talked about the belted kingfisher and how long I'd been wanting to get shots of this guy I am so happy he just randomly happened to fly onto a log that was next to me a dead log sticking out of the ground and oh man I was just so excited to be able to see him and see him so close I've never gotten to see one so close as that um, and be able to capture him as well in photos so just an amazing moment and I can't wait to show you guys this on camera So unfortunately though, at the end of it all, there was a fisherman who just started walking up just boldly <laughs> right in front of the belted kingfisher and the belted kingfisher just flushed. Um, so it kind of ruined that shot. I was hoping to get him hunting um, in the river. I was set up right here. The belted kingfisher was, you know, relaxed, comfortable around me. But when the fisherman walked up, he just flew, took off, flew away, and I really had no chance at that point. So unfortunately, I didn't get to see him dive after any fish. However, um, I did still get shots of him on that perch that made me really excited about it. We've also gotten to experience a little bit of a black BB just fly catching around this area. Um, there was one moment where he came up really close and I was able to get a close uh, photo of him. But in terms of video, I got some cool things of him showing him fly catching off in the distance.
So after the last time I was talking with you guys, I actually had a common merganser also come by the area, flew in, uh, made his you know landing, um, started uh, you know floating around the area that I was in around the rapids, and he was making his way towards me at the rapids. So I was getting really excited, and uh, once again, actually this time a fishing boat came by, flushed him out. Um, flush him out of there because it came around a corner and kind of surprised him and so it seems like fishermen are the death of me today <laughs> apparently they're the ones that are uh, prohibiting and uh, scaring off all the wildlife that uh, I'm trying to capture <laughs> but um, regardless still had an awesome day I was really happy just to be able to get a look at a belted kingfisher like that so nice and clean and up close and um, beyond that just had a beautiful day just sitting by the rapids just seeing the the black Phoebe fly catching, seeing the merganser come around our area, seeing that belted kingfisher fly by, as well as seeing that spotted sandpiper just doing his little butt wag around uh, the rapids area. So really awesome day, really glad to just be out in nature, be present and just get to sit a little bit and just be present with nature and get to capture some beautiful species. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys are inspired to be out in nature yourself. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.